Afternoon guys, Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. What I'd like to do today is I'd like to discuss a couple different setup options with your 8x8 Tent Smith's oil cloth tarp. As you can see what I've got here is I've got a covered hammock setup. Now this kind of setup's not going to work for you in a downpour. You're going to get some water leaking off this thing somewhere that's probably going to end up in your hammock. But for a colder weather situation where you are trying to trap some heat in there, you've got a really thick wool blanket on the bottom of you. I always recommend that you carry two. You put your twin on the bottom to keep you from feeling the effects of convection and then you wrap up in your top blanket. In this example, I was just laid in there on top of the twin blanket. But you can see when you lay down on there, in there, it brings everything down to you. It kind of closes you in pretty good. It kind of brings this close to you. So you've got a lot of coverage over your head and the only real problem you got is right here. And if you're wrapped up in a blanket, you're going to be in pretty good shape. And you could drop this pitch down a little bit if you wanted to, but I wouldn't recommend that. But this works pretty good for any time of the year, really, other than a pouring down rain. You can set your tarp up like this and you've got coverage as long as it's not raining. And you're going to be plenty warm as long as you've got it set up right for wintertime use. But in normal weather, three seasons of the year, and it's not raining, this is a perfect setup. Now, the other thing that you could do <coughs> is you could use both sides of this. Drop this down. You could use the top layer to sleep on. And you could stuff the bottom layer as a browse bag with leaves. So we're going to talk about both of these setups real quick. Stay with me, guys. Okay, for the initial setup of this all I've done is I've laid the tarp on the ground and I folded it in half with the outside tie out points to the back of the shelter and I've lined up the tie out points so I have one here two here two here so obviously this is going to be your weak point then I've taken just a piece of hemp rope and this one is what I call a three pull section that means three full poles of rope I really don't care exactly how long that is, somewhere between 15 and 18 feet most likely, depending on how tall you are. Generally your arm span is as tall as you are. So I'm five foot eight, so I've probably got a little bit more than, you know, a bit more than 15 foot and less than 16, or less than 18 foot here. So I've probably got somewhere between the 16, 16 and a half foot range. Now, all I'm going to do is feed that through this one, and then through these two at the same time like this, and the same thing down here at the end. That is going to give me something that's gathered up that looks like this. Now again, this center tie out, or this one tie out where you've got a single in here is your weak point, but it's on the side. It's not on the bottom. Then you're going to take this and connect it to the tree. So the way I'm going to connect this to the tree is real, real simple. I'm just going to come around the tree. I want to make sure that both of my tails are equal distance, basically, within that hammock. I'm going to come up here and give myself a little bit of slack. I'm going to wrap once under the rope, once over the rope, one more time under the rope. When I come through that time, this next time, I'm just going to put a half inch in there, just like this and cinch it down, that will not allow this to pull loose once it gets tight. It's going to cause a constrictor type knot there. And it's, Once it gets pulled tight, it's not going to come loose. Okay, so at this point, we can do one of two things. We can either use this hammock as is, just like this, and that becomes the hammock that we're going to sleep in in moderate weather conditions. Just sit down in the middle of it. Just like any other hammock, you can get in and pull it up around you. Just like that, okay? And that works pretty good. That's a really nice, relaxing hammock for an open air night when the weather's nice. This is really good. Throw a wooby over top of you, a light wool blanket, whatever the case may be, and sleep like a baby, okay? If it were cold outside, but it was going to be a clear night. We weren't really worried about covering ourselves. We could always, or if we had an extra tarp, we could always split this open 
and fill the inside of this area with browse. And that would give us a browse bed that was suspended off the ground. Or we can turn this section into a roof by picking it up and sleep in the bottom section. And I'm going to show you how we do that. Okay, so to use this top portion for a roof, we're going to need two tie-out lines. We're actually going to need three, but we'll need two right off the bat. We're going to pick this up, just like this, by the two tie-outs, and we're going to tie them out to trees in front of us somewhere. Okay, so now I'm going to come back to this tree, and this is where I'm going to tie the other side out. I've already got my loop in the line for tensioning. Same thing with the old trucker's hitch. Get that thing pretty taut, not overly taut. Now we just need to take care of the middle. So now what we really need to do is we need to get this middle section up. But the other thing we want to do is we want to take these flaps and drape them to the outside. That's going to let less heat escape from this shelter when we're done with it. So we'll take these two flaps and run them to the outside, just like this. Then we've got our hammock in here and our cover over the top and all we have to do is lift the center. Now there's really no tie outs in the center of this tarp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a wad of leaves and shove them up in here where I want to tie this off and just grab that with my hand just like this. And then I'm going to take my tie out line that has a jam knot in it and I'm just going to pull that down over that ball of leaves and jam it down just like that. Then I'll pull this up just like this from an adjacent tree to the front. So now we'll just take our center line, come up a little higher on the tree. Again, just go through our tensioning loop that we've got created in there. Pull it up. It doesn't have to be completely taut because you're going to put tension on it when you lay down inside there. Tighten it down. Now you've got your roof. Then you can just go through and straighten out all your overhangs. So when you're done, you're back to this configuration again. And if this is a little bit taut, you see when you lay down in this, it's going to pull this whole thing down. So it's going to stretch that guy rope down and give you plenty of space in here to lay in here as a hammock. Now you just put your blanket or your sleeping bag or whatever you're carrying inside here, and you'll be good to go. Well, guys, I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. I thank you for joining me for another video out here today. I thank you for everything you do for me, for my school, for my family, my business. And for everybody that's affiliated with the Pathfinder School and Self-Reliance Outfitters, I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.